Welcome back, Acron fans! Or, hello if you're watching on Twitch, because I'm sorry, that was a weird bug. Apparently, Twitch doesn't like 48k audio, and OBS just randomly decided to go 48k audio, because it did. I honestly have no idea. Anyway, that aside, now we can actually have a proper stream going. Gonna have another game between... Well... On Rooftop Showdown, it's gonna be... Sorry. Last game was on Rooftop Showdown. If you weren't, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm sorry. It wasn't there. Monkey vs. Showdown. Beck your mirror was lots of proxying going on. The players insisted it was a perfectly normal replay, which it obviously wasn't. Anyway, this match is going to be between Cybernetic Pony and who's the other person in this one? Sorry, I just got the Cybernetic Pony and Descalade, I believe. And they're going to be once again on Rooftop Showdown. So I hope you like this map because that's what we're doing today. Rooftop Showdown day. Let's begin. Cybernetic Pony starting at the east side of the map as CISO, while Descalada, or LOL Hyper Casual Scum, let's call him Scum for short, I guess. Anyway, Scum is starting out in the west side of the map, and we'll also go on CISO. So, CISO Mirror on Rooftop Showdown. This should be interesting. Last time we saw Vecure Mirror, and that ended up with proxy foundations everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There's proxy foundation after proxy foundation. It was just that was all there was. That's all there ever was. It's just proxy foundations. You couldn't you couldn't see for the proxy foundations. They were everywhere. However, in this game, CISO doesn't quite have the same sort of healing thing going on. Like they don't have foundations. They have they have MFBs and they have special ops and they have blackbirds, but those aren't quite the same. They don't have any sort of self-perpetuating healing mechanic. In which case, I imagine that we're going to be seeing something more like, if we're going to see proxies at all, it'll be proxy fa armory or factory, but it looks like both players are quite satisfied to maintain their presence within their own base, rather than trying to build in their opponent's backyard. Or front yard, rather. There isn't really much of a backyard in this map. It's all front yard. The backyard, I guess, would be here, but... I can't imagine anyone would be trying to proxy. People tend to proxy on this map closer to the front. They tend to proxy over here or over here. Sometimes over here or over here if they're not too daring, but still want to get something near their opponent's base. Anyhow, we have Descalada coming in with the factory. He is going for the first factory. Cybernetic Pony is 30 seconds down from here. Has not built a factory yet. He has, okay, he has at the 141 mark a factory. This is a bit later than Descalada. Descalada had one up by... Or started getting one up by the one minute mark. Looks like Descalada is just more focused on getting units out quicker. Cybernetic Pony instead went for an earlier resource processor. So Cybernetic Pony is up one resource processor while Descalada, that is Scum, is up an early factory. And up an ATHC. So Descalada needs to be harassing with this ATHC, getting some resource processors with this, and Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is getting more RPs, getting another importer, getting his own factory, getting ATHC as well. To point out that Scum is a little bit ahead of where Cybernetic Pony is, which means that he's not seeing that factory before it's... Well, the green time is going to come up before his ATHC arrives, and he is also going to see everything from his infantry. He's going to see that, and it looks like he blocked off a marine building another factory. It looks like Cybernetic Pony is trying to build two factories and failed to do so. Good plan, though. I've mentioned before, CISO needs multiple production structures of a single type. Unlike Vekir and Grekim, they can't just get away with only having one. They need multiples. Otherwise, you just can't use your resources fast enough. At least not in the most efficient way. And... That factory is all that Cybernetic Pony has at this point. He can actually afford another one, but that's all he has. ATHC is out, however, and Descalada, his ATHC is... Heading back to base is defending against Cybernetic Pony's attack as well, so neither player being too aggressive. Both players able to defend pretty effectively. This ATC here is surprisingly able to survive. It actually is able to survive barely, though. Marines and special ops are not that are not weak. They, have, they are a force to be reckoned with. They're frail, yes, but they deal a lot of damage, so you can't just say, oh well, it's a vehicle, it's gonna win. Not necessarily. However, the ATC is taking full advantage of its range in both cases. And that has helped it out a lot. Actually, this ATC for... No! Cybernetic Pony's ATC is in a bad position. It's actually really close. And it looks like it's going to die. This one's definitely going to die. 
The one that comes after is going to have a slightly better chance, but Descalada not moving away. Managed to snipe off an ATHC, nicely done, while Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, hasn't quite managed to do the same. And from his point of view, Cybernetic Pony is building up an armory as well, possibly going to get early tech. Let's see if he goes for an early... Let's we'll see what he goes for. I mean, possibly early machinery. I don't think he's going to do that. I mean, an early tank would obviously tear apart the, the Marines here, but that would be a bit of a waste. Like, that'd be a lot of resources just for that. However, this is still going to happen. Once again, we're going to this exact same time, the, the exact same events. The difference, however, is that Descalada does actually have a marine, a couple of Marines over his main base. Before the ATHC comes up, that ATHC will survive in this time wave. Now, a minute down from here, we do have Descalada coming in once again, checking this out, seeing what's going on. And getting an ATHC of his own. This is when he gets probably a second ATHC, I'm thinking. No, this must be the first one. Well, I mean, it's later than the first one was, but it must be his first one, ultimately. From, an, from a chronal perspective, it's his first one. And... It's also... Well, it's not gonna... It might attack, but... The infantry are not, and it's not attacking either. No, this is actually the first one. This is the one that was built originally. Because there's all the orders of the first one. It wouldn't actually bother to move around the way it did, unless that was what happened. And a second one is coming up. So, Descalada has two ATHCs. Cybernetic Pony has one ATHC, and... He has a decent army, actually. He's expanding to the north as well. While Descalada is... Sticking in his main base, not really doing too much with this. He's just hanging out in his main base, building up an economy, getting more RPs. He was behind in RPs compared to Cybernetic Pony. Cybernetic Pony has had an economic advantage, mild at that, but still an economic advantage for this entire game. Now, I'm just double checking. Yeah, five to five and one to six and two. Yep, Cybernetic Pony definitely has the advantage. Double, double checking from Descalada's point of view. Descalada actually is getting up to six and two, while Cybernetic Pony. Okay, so from Descalada's point of view, he is getting himself even up. Not quite as quickly, but it's close. It's probably close enough, it's not going to matter too much. Really, it's going to come down to engagements. Whoever wins the first engagement is going to have the advantage. Economic advantages are probably too minor to matter at this point. But Cybernetic Pony does have a proxy armory. Should have pointed this out earlier, but it hasn't actually come up yet. Yeah, he's got a proxy armory right south of Descalada's base. That might do something. Because, well... That's what happens when you have a proxy armory. Infantry get built, and they march, just march into the base and slaughter everything, especially if your opponent's out of position. Because infantry, like I said, for CISO, are very strong. Not very tough, but very strong. If there's no opposition, they will just tear everything apart. Cybernetic Pony not yet making use of that. Descalada getting a macro fab, should have pointed this out earlier. Four and a half minutes, he's getting a macro fab, and Cybernetic Pony does not have that sort of attack going on. He has machinery getting upgraded. Descalada does not. Looks like he's going for pure Mar tank. I doubt he's going to go for frigates for air, anti-air. Probably going to go pure Mar tank and deal with that there. He is getting an armory, so machinery is very likely. I can't imagine Descalada would not build machinery at some point very soon. Like I said, Cybernetic Pony has it. He has factory. It looks like he's going to go for tornadoes probably. And in that case, Descalada might be predicting it and thus going for frigates. But no, he is in fact going for Mar tanks. I was right the first time. He is on Mar tanks and probably going to get ground units too. Nope. No, that's sorry, that's Cybernetic Pony. Let's see, Descalada, is he researching anything? We don't see it yet. He is, however, attacking from the south, while Cybernetic Pony attacks from the east. Now, by the way, I just point out that Cybernetic Pony is actually a fair bit down from here. So this is from Descalada's point of view, further in the future. Cybernetic Pony, he does have a slightly more accurate picture at this point. He is about half a minute down from here, but nothing has happened yet. So, check what happens with Descalada's point of view. So Descalada, from as far as you can tell, is dealing some economic damage, getting rid of some key PRPs, while also his main base is taking not that much damage. The Martanks doing a wonderful job just getting rid of those ATHCs. The ATHCs do not have any sort of damage bonus or armor bonus against Martanks. They used to when they cloaked, but now they don't because they don't cloak. However, Cybernetic Pony, there's where the proxy armor comes in. At the same time here, he is coming in with his infantry. I don't see this working. Cybernetic Pony is. Actually, it might. The ATHCs are not getting hit by the Martanks. If this is his main plan, I can see it working, but it's a little bit of a weird one. The Martanks don't have splash damage. They are single target units, but they still deal quite a lot of damage in one sh in one shot. And the thing is, the Martanks against the ATHCs, one Martank against three ATHCs, that's actually not a bad position for it either. The Two of the ATHCs are behind the factory, but the third one needs to also get behind the Macrofab. Martanks do not have a lobbing weapon, so 
That first Mark Tank's down! Nice focus by the ATHCs. Now, at the same time, this is where Descalada was attacking. Tornad did get up, but destroyed by the ATHCs. Now, at some cost, this ATHC here is heavily damaged. The other two are fine. On the other hand, Descalada is taking a lot of damage to his Mar Tank. He's going to kill the ATHC first. But his Mar Tanks have been heavily damaged. Now, at this point, Descalada is running 6 and 3 versus Cyber Night Pony 6 and 3. Actually, Cyber Night Pony has an extra LCRP to the north. But one pure QBRP thanks to these, well, thanks to these ATHCs here. And the Tronade won't be able to do too much. We saw that already. Now, the proxy armory here. I want to see how this works out. Because this is not gone. As far as Descalada is concerned, those infantry just came from the main base. Just walked in. And making up for the loss of his QPRP in his main base, Cybernetic Pony building a bunch of QPRPs south of Descalada's position. And it looks like Descalada is, well, is he going to find out? But we got to know, from Descalada's point of view, no, he is not. Or, no, he is. Actually, this ATC is going to find the proxy armory. This is going to be huge. Descalada is going to know exactly what's up. And this is... This is huge. So Descalada knows exactly what's going on. He has Twin Mars. He could deal with this, no problem. However, the Tornad is being a bit of a thorn in his side. I don't imagine that's going to be too big of a deal, but it's still something to worry about because, well... It's it's something that can be built, and there's no frigates up yet. There could be. I mean, the thing is, Descalada does have the answer to the Tornads already. He has the Magrafab, he could build frigates, not a problem. What he doesn't have is, well, the economy, really. Cybernetic Pony has been still building up economy. This ATC has not actually done anything. Cy As a whole, Descalada has not done anything yet about the proxy. This Twin Mart not moving south to get rid of the proxy armory, I don't know why. Because that proxy armory is huge, especially these RPs here. I mean, that's free kills on RPs. I really don't know why Descalada is not going for that. He might be waiting until it hits the unplayable past edge. At which point he'll go down, or rather go south, and deal with that. But at this point, Descalada... Okay, he's gone down about a minute. Let's see if he's going to go for this. No, no he's not. He's... He is consolidating near the center of the map, but otherwise not actually going for anything. Getting another couple factories. Looks like he's going to start pumping out units. Not got the strongest economy, but he's going to go for it anyway. Cybernetic Pony, however, does have the stronger economy. No Macrofab, mind you. No tech, but he does have the economy. He does have a proxy factory. And this is a proxy base. I mean, it's just... Cybernetic Pony decided to build a base at Descalada's Natural. Or the closest thing this map has to a natural expansion. Yeah, that... I'm surprised that Descalada is letting that stand. And Descalada is just going for a counterattack. Just going straight for Cybernetic Pony's main. Not even bothering with the proxy. I really am surprised. And this was Cybernetic Pony not using the proxy yet. See, the 947 mark, he is... What is he building? Is he building... Well, he's not building anything. Actually, Descalada pointing out in chat, he did not remember actually scouting this. Which means, I guess, he wasn't looking at the ATHC when it happened. Anyhow, he will now scout it if he hasn't already, with the Marine going down to expand. Finally finding it, and knowing that he finds it. But he's already halfway to Cybernetic Pony's base, so Cybernetic Pony is going to have to deal with this, and this is going to be tough. Tanks are in play, but no heavy tanks can come up, no Mar tanks are up, and nothing... I mean, the tanks can get rid of the frigates, but there's not a whole lot. The frigates are going to get rid of the Tornads if they come up, and the Tornads are the only hope, really, against the Twin Mars. And no, that's not going to help out too much, but at the same time... At the same time, Lancers and Tornads, sorry, Lancers and Frigates coming in for Descalada. No Tornads, mind you. Descalada does not have machinery, but he does have a massive army getting rid of everything inside of Cybernetic Pony's main. Cybernetic Pony has, by the way, moved all of his RPs away from his main, except for this one Q Plasma RP, which is going to be destroyed. That being said, I think Cybernetic Pony is, well, he's not in the best position. This is a very strong attack coming in from Descalada. And Cybernetic Pony, despite his economic advantage, has not been able to really translate that into anything useful. Getting some Lancers, not going to help out. The Frigates are going to die too slowly. It's just not going to work. But the initial ATHCs, at least... No, the initial ATHCs are probably going to kill it. The only hope is that the ATHCs will not hit the ground units as a result. But there's the Twinmar, and that's the big thing. That Twinmar is just death. It's death on four... Well, it's death on hover tracks, I think. It's, no, it's, it's on treads. Death on two treads. Like, it's... At the same time, like I said, Proxy coming in here, tearing apart... Sorry, Proxy is being destroyed here. 
being torn apart by Descalada's forces. Descalada, he's about 10 seconds down from here, and he is just pumping out Lancers. Getting rid of this, it's actually not going quite as well as he had hoped. So one Lancer here is doing quite a lot of damage on its own. But at the same time, the attack in the main base is still dealing a lot of damage. Getting rid of Cybernetic Pony's forces. Twin Mars just dealing all the damage they deal, which is a lot of damage. ATH is the only hope against this Tornado, though. Cybernetic Pony is going to be able to deal some damage. Start to get rid of these Twin Mars a little bit. But really, the ATHC, ATHC is just too much for it. HC with the Twin Mars support. That Tornado goes down. The Tornado. Now, if Cybernetic Pony retargets that Tornado to attack the ATHC, he will be able to defend this attack. Probably. I mean, the attack was still possibly able to destroy his base before the Twin Mars die. But Cybernetic Pony not going back to deal with that. Instead, he is apparently focusing on his proxy, getting a Macrofab up, getting more Marines up, and getting defense turrets as well. So, like I said, Cybernetic Pony is not out of this. He's lost his main base, but at this point, his main base wasn't really doing too much for him. He has a factory over the northeast, he has the proxy over in the southwest. And Descalada is sending a bunch of RPs to their destruction. I don't understand why. I think he might have done that before realizing that Cybernetic Pony was well entrenched here. And sending it to the north would have been the better option. However, Air Force is coming in to deal with this. Not going to do too well. The mech is going to tear it apart alone. Now, these forces here, this is what matters. Descalada needs to move them back. And that's exactly what he's doing. Getting them in. Getting them towards Cybernetic Pony's base. And not aware of this north base, mind you. Cybernetic Pony has kept this northeast base very well hidden. But the southwest base was found out. These lances are going to go down, not dealing too much damage to the defense turret. But the Twin Mars, that's what matters. These Twin Mars here, this is what we care about. Because if those get in there, that is going to tear apart the base. The Tornado, however, is a bit of a beacon of hope. It might be able to help out. It's definitely going to... Well, so you have to worry about the ATHC, but not so much. It actually... Another Tornado comes up. This is it. Cybernetic Pony, if he defends this attack, he's going to win. And he is coming in with some infantry to try to deal with Descalada's base, but I think Descalada... Oh, boy. Descalada is going to be taking a lot of damage to his main base, and the Twin Mars moving to defend, not moving to deal with the proxy, moving instead to defend. One of the Mars... Sorry. No. He is indeed going straight for his main base to defend. He is not attacking the proxy in advance, and I think that's going to cost him the... Well, admittedly, it would have been kind of tough to get this anyway. I... Yeah, he has no LC. That's the thing. He lost all of his RPs going south, and that's it. That That's the game right there. He has no Liquor Crystal in reserve. He could convert... He could, All he can do is Q-Plasma convert in order to get RPs at the north. That's it. And he's not... Okay, he is doing that, and he needs to do that a lot more. But he can't. He has no Chrono Energy with which to do this. He has to spend all his Chrono Energy to try to get as much... Q Plasma into Liquid Crystal as is possible, and that's not going to happen easily. But it is going to be... Well, like I said, this is going to be it. Cybernetic Pony moving into the final shot, and that ATT goes down! The Twin Mars will have no chance of getting rid of the Tornads. This is game! Descalada has just lost his chance to win. His only possible hope would have been to the north with Marine there, but Tornad came to the north, and that was it! Descalada throws in the towel. Cybernetic Pony wins this exhibition match. Not a tournament game, but still fun to watch. So hope you enjoyed that, and that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone. Also, once again, apologies to the Twitch viewers. I guess an OBS update caused the audio settings to get a bit wonky. Went to 48 kilohertz instead of 44.1, and apparently Twitch doesn't like 48 kilohertz, so... That caused some upload issues. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and good night.